guys, this is Lord of Reviews, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. This one's going to be probably my most amazing tutorial so far. It's going to create something truly amazing and magical. And that's true because we're creating magic text. It can be any color you want, and it looks phenomenal. Alright, uh, since it's going to be a pretty long tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and cut to the chase. Here's what we'll be making. You're going to be making this very neat text... It's just really cool. It's like it's got this incredible gradient that's like fiery in the background, kind of gradient, and it's just got this mix of colors, and it's got this steel wireframe around it, and it's got this white along the inside. It's really amazing, and it's crystalline. And then we're also gonna learn how to create this vortex background. All right, it's best if you use it. See, the thing is, this uh, this effect changes depending on the size of your text and the font. So. Uh, it's just, it's all up to that, and so you might have to, um, edit the blending options for this to bin, to bit, depending on the font and the size of your text, but, uh, if you want this font, the link will be in the description, but my font is serpentine bold, and the size is 361.88, but that's, that's all your choice and stuff like that, but you might have to edit the blending options to make it look okay, or else it'll look incredibly strange. So don't get mad at me if your text looks strange because you used the wrong font and the wrong size. Because this is perfectly formatted for this size text. So, and this font. So, you might have to edit it a bit. Alright, since this is a style, I'm going to go to my blending options. And actually, I'm just going to turn off everything. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and apply my style. And then, I'm just going to uncheck everything right here. All right, now, for the drop shadow, all right, sorry, sorry, sorry for the screwing up. For the drop shadow, you want it to be multiply with a color of black, an opacity of 100, an angle of 120 with using global light, distance of zero, a spread of 10, and a size of 49. And then the quality your contour will need to be the first option, not anti-aliased. Then the noise will be zero, and, and check layer knocks out drop shadow. And now if you add this, you have this nice shadow in the background. Now we're going to go to our inner shadow. Our inner shadow is going to be a blend mode of multiply, a color of black, an opacity of 75, and an angle of 120. Uh, we're going to use the global light, the distance will be 5, the choke will be 56, and the size will be 6. The quality of the contour will be this cone shape, anti-alias with zero noise. And if you add this, you end up with like a black color on the inside, which you don't see right now. Then for the outer glow, we're going to do blend mode linear dodge add, opacity of 75, a noise of 0, and then the gradient will actually be kind of this pinkish color. If you want this color, Oops, I added a stop by accident. Oopsie. But this the color will be this pinkish color, which is D24BFE, if you want this color. And it actu and alright, and the technique will be softer, the spread will be twelve, and the size will be forty six. The contour will be this one here, the one right below the start one. And the range will be 51 and the jitter will be 0. And you start to get this pink outline on it. But you can make this any color you like. Our inner glow will begin to add our white on the inside. It'll be blend mode linear dodge add, opacity of 100, noise of 0. And then the color of this pink color, which is F4BEFF. I'm trying to get a purple look with this text, so that's why I have all this pink and purple. Our bevel and emboss is one of our most important ones. We're going to check this. And it begins to add a 3D look to our text. Our style will be inner bevel, technique, chisel hard, depth 103, direction up, size 6, and soften 0. The shading will be 120, 30, and you will use the global light. Gloss tone tour will be the default, not anti list. Highlight mode will be green, with a color of white. Opacity 75. Shadow mode linear burn, color black, opacity 100. Now we're going to add our contour, which creates a little bit more of a 3D effect. And it's simply... The first option, not anti-aliased, 50%. This might be the default. Now we're going to add our texture. This starts to bring in a little bit of a look to it. We're going to use one of the rock patterns. So just click the arrow and go to rock patterns, then append, 
and then we're going to use light marble, which is this one. Light marble. If you don't have light marble, just use a very non-intrusive pattern that looks kind of like this, as best you can. The scale will be 77, and the depth will be 356. Remember, with all these blending options, you will need to edit them to fit your text. All right, check invert and check link with layer. Now we're going to add our satin, which basically brightens up the outside edge with our of our um, inner glow. The satin, the blend mode is overlay with the color of D B D F B D F E, but you can make this any color you like. I recommend you make it similar to your color of your outer glow. The opacity 100, angle negative 144, distance of 81, and size of 42. I mean 44. The contour will be this one. The last one on the right, the Gaussian, anti-aliased and inverted. Now we're going to do a gradient overlay. Our gradient overlay is, is the most complicated part. Next, all right, we're going to add a blend mode of normal, an opacity of 100, and now the gradient is very difficult to create. Now, the, the top two will just be black, just like average. And now, create one stop at location 13% with a color of black. Create another stop at location 69 with a color of AB4CED. And then create another stop at location 100 that's white. But you can, of course, customize this exactly how you like to formulate your exact needs. Do not reverse it and make the style linear, align it with the layer, angle of 90, and a scale of 100. But you can change the angle to make it kind of a slant if you want it. Then create a stroke, and the stroke will be 3. Or actually, no, the stroke will be 2. 2 pixels, position outside, blend mode normal, opacity 100, with a fill type color, and the color will be black. Now, click OK. Now, we're just going to go ahead and uh, copy your layer, just duplicate it, or, or Command D, actually no, Command J, to duplicate it, and now we're just going to click on our layer, blending options, and we're going to remove the drop shadow, remove the inner shadow, well not, oh, keep the inner shadow, remove the outer glow, uh, keep the inner glow, remove the bevel, and, I mean, keep the inner, keep the bevel and emboss, I mean, delete the bevel and emboss, delete the contour, actually no, remove the texture, keep the bevel and emboss in the contour, keep the satin, uh, keep the gradient overlay, and delete the stroke. And so you have a text like this. Now, you're going to control click your layer and click select pixels, your copied layer. Select pixels, and then we're going to go to image. I mean, I mean, select, modify, contract, and we're going to contract it by about 8 pixels. So it just covers the inside, so it just leaves out the edge of your bevel and emboss. Now, we're going to rasterize this new type. So it's just, an, well, it's already rasterized, so no need to worry about that. Well, copy to. We're going to rasterize the type, so it's just a normal text layer. Then, you're going to go edit clear or just press the delete key then select deselect or command D so you have this neat outline around your text now I'm just gonna delete this one and bring back my original and you have your magic text almost just about completely with blending options except for deleting that center part which is really easy alright now we're gonna teach you how to make this vortex effect in the background just in case you want it now, I like doing this, so I'm just I'm going to actually completely recreate this myself. All right, now, take your layer 2 back at the very bottom. Use the fill bucket and, and paint it black. If you don't see the fill bucket, it'll be under the gradient tool. Now, select Filter, Render Difference Clouds. Then create a layer above this one. Color it black. Then change the opacity with the opacity switch down so it's a little darker. Now combine these two layers by holding down shift and clicking both and then clicking merge layers. Now with this new merged, go to filter, distort, twirl. With a angle of 300, see it gives it this vortex effect. And there you go. You've made your incredible magic text with the vortex effect. And now that's basically it. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just remember, change everything to exactly to fit your text and your ties, and you'll end up with a really great outcome, similar to this. All right, uh, thank you so much for watching my video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, have a nice day.